Okay, other uses for dynamics. All right, now I do this one all the time. I love this one. Okay, so what I do here is I take a torus and I take the division levels down quite a bit. I'll hit six on the keyboard so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'll lengthen it out. Whoops. First make the sectional radius down a little bit further. Okay. And then I'll take the vertices and move them down. So I can create a link. Okay, so now I have one solitary link. Uh, I'm going to duplicate that, move it down, uh, modify center pivot, and edit delete by type history. Okay, so there we go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is edit duplicate with transform. I'm going to move it down. And then I'm going to hit G on the keyboard. And this is going to keep continuing to make duplicates of this. Okay. Now, what I want to do is take all of them and duplicate them using Command D and rotate them all. So this 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to move them down just a little bit. All right, there we go. And please note, there is a gap between all of these. Okay. So what happens? Well, I have all these items, and what I'm going to do is create them into active rigid bodies and assign gravity to them. Again, dynamics, gravity. And then I'm going to put some kind of item down here that I want it to interact with. Let's say I needed a... Uh, a look where a chain was falling off a box or something like that. So let me do this and I'm going to create this box into a dynamic and then I'm going to make this into a passive rigid body. Alright, so wouldn't that take a long time to model? Let's hit play. Okay, and give it a few frames. Let's go like 800 frames. and hit play and there we go we have a chain that's draped onto a box again that would take an incredibly long time to model that so dynamics is very useful with modeling you just gotta know the application and why or when to use it so if you want it to look nice you give it a few more minutes to solve uh, go get a cup of coffee or something like that and come back and it looks pretty nice again turbulence all works with it um, the distribution of uh, a rotate works with it so you can play around with that and also keep in mind the solving capabilities sometimes it, it does some weird stuff don't forget about dampening so the problem is you would have to go through each and every chain, however, and change the dampening to something. Okay, so uh, it takes a longer time to do that, but that's how you get really, really, really good results is the, the dampening and the bounciness. All right, so that's just another practical way of using dynamics within modeling.